Hello everyone! As promised in my previous video, we are going to disassemble, clean and replace the thermal paste of our Xbox One. I've purchased the console recently and judging by the present warranty sticker, it has never been opened or cleaned in the past 7 or 8 years. So guys, let's disassemble and give this poor neglected Xbox One the care that it deserves. First, we have to remove the side vent that is held by a couple of clips and a plastic tab that reinforces the side panel. Continue prying up clips until the upper and lower panel can be removed. The front button panel has a weird connector that's easily removed with a set of tweezers. Next, we have to unplug the speaker cable and the Wi-Fi antenna. Unscrew the two torque screws on the Wi-Fi board and simply lift it up. The next step is to unscrew a total of 8 screws on the top metal case. Then we can gently lift the case and disconnect the Wi-Fi cable from the motherboard. And guys, once we remove the metal case, we can really see the amount of dust and dirt that has accumulated inside the console and the heatsink during all those years. There's even traces of spider web, so at some point in time, a spider has probably lived inside our console. Ok, so the next step is to remove the optical drive and the hard drive. Then we can leave the whole motherboard assembly. Remove the three screws that hold the front panel board. Next we have to flip the whole motherboard assembly and remove another 8 screws. Once we've done that, we can separate the motherboard and the metal case. The X clamp can be pretty difficult to remove if you're not using the correct technique, but as you can see, with a small screwdriver, the whole process is much easier. After disconnecting the fan, we can safely remove the heatsink, which reveals the terrible state of the thermal paste and we can see how clogged with dust the heatsink actually is. I will be using this plastic prying tool to clean the thermal paste residue since it's made of a really soft plastic that won't damage the chip. And with some isopropyl alcohol, the system on chip looks nice and clean.
And now guys, the most important step, applying the new thermal paste. I did some research and it looks like this X pattern gives the best results and the lowest possible temperatures. And everything looks nice and tight, so let's go ahead and reassemble the console. It appears that we haven't messed up anything and our console runs fine. I also played Fortnite and FIFA 20 for approximately one hour and the Xbox One runs nice and quiet so far. I hope this video was helpful and in the next episodes we'll further test how the Xbox One performs, so see you all next time!